Welcome back, Kerry. It's DestinyG. So in today's video, I'm going to be taking a look at Malibu and why he's the best solo player in the world currently. He's won another cash cup this past weekend. I'm going to be taking a look at how he double keys and opens with a lot of fundamental fighting tips for you guys, as well as how he dominates with these new zones, how he finds refreshes, and also how he wins heal offs to get earnings. All right, let's go ahead and take a look at some fundamental W King tips from Malabuka. Malabuka is the perfect player to learn about W King because he's not too flashy, he doesn't play on the best ping, he just has really solid fighting strategies that uses every single fight. And the first one of those is just pumping the wall as you approach. This means that the wall is going to be one shot for your pickaxe as you get closer, it doesn't matter if it's wood, brick, or metal, it's always going to be one shot. And he's able to come up here and completely catch the other guy off guard who's trying to heal, who doesn't realize that it's always one shot. Now, what does he do to close out the fight? Very simple things again is he gets completely behind Ryan Peak. He's got good bind setup so he can always always do this gets completely behind the wall so the guy misses his shot now as Malabuka's shotgun's ready he swings back in hits the guy at 99 and then takes him out having good attacking fundamentals is extremely important of course but defensive fundamentals are 10 times more important in my book as you can see here Malabuka is baiting the big pot immediately trying to go for a counter peek onto this guy and he keeps on trying to look for this counter damage for a few seconds as the guy approaching however this guy clearly isn't the worst player he's not double swinging his pickaxe he's not giving up free shots so what does Malabuka do to counter this he builds the l-shaped box so he's got three boxes that are connected here and then he goes ahead and hides in the original box that's got more hp and is in brick as well so it's harder to see through so he's able to actually get his big pot off now the guy's left trying to deal with the extra boxes that he's built trying to figure out where he is and he's able to get his heal off and then as soon as he's done this he looks for counts damage through a sneak play you guys don't need to just start turning every fight into a build fight instead look around try to get damage keep your cross hit on the player like Malabuka's doing here and he's finally able to pounce hit the guy for a big shot and then get straight into the box and take him out here's a bit of a useless tip if you guys are sprinting and like this and then you go ahead and slide into a power slide. It will actually break and do damage to builds as long as they're low HP. So you can see here, Malabuka times this really well, where he goes and slides into the wall and is able to get straight into the box with his SMG as this guy is caught off guard. However, even if he didn't time it properly, his actual slide would do damage to the wall and he'd be able to get into the box. One thing that Malabuka does really well is he prioritizes getting damage over peace control in about 90% of situations. Right here, he is simply trying to end this fight quickly. And how do you end a fight quickly? Is you simply just do damage the opponent and you only really need two pump shots this season to take somebody out so what does he do right here is he gets the cone slide instead of piecing up this box when he's playing on this diagonal which a lot of players would do they try to piece this guy up then get a full box and of course the guy could just pump the wall and take it back and then you're left in an awkward situation trying to swap angles instead Malibuku goes for the simple and effective right hand peak with the pump to get some chip damage onto the guy then what does he go ahead and do is he swaps his angles, again approaches from this diagonal onto the other player's wall, as you can see here. Double pickaxes, slides the cone in straight away, then tries to wall, get the wall, doesn't get it in time. So what does he do straight after is he pumps the wall while the guy's in this awkward situation with the cone in his box. That allows him to get the pickaxe timing to get the wall even quicker. And then doesn't try to piece the guy up and get exit control on him as he's reboxing. Instead, all he does is go for a shot and take him out. I can't tell you guys how important it is to just prioritize using your shotgun more than using your build binds and trying to piece people up this season. It's so important. One thing that Malibu could do a lot during mid game fights as well as end game to find refreshes is simply chopping people out rather than trying to go ahead and aggress their walls. It's so effective mainly because people don't expect it. They're expected to try to get two seconds to get their slurp off. Have a Malibu here just chops the other guy out by disconnecting him and breaking some of his builds. And then now all he has to do is just ADS his shotgun and take him out as he can't build anything. And when it comes to fighting in finals, the meta is completely different. You should only really take fights when you've got a damage advantage, as you can see right here. And you've got to remember, every player has good shotguns at this point because of caches. And of course, they all have very good fighting ability because they caught out of opens. Maluka knows this, and he's very patient with how he plays out his fights at all points. You can see here, doesn't even swing on the wall, just tries to bait the guy out into actually opening up and giving him a free shot. And again here, he goes ahead and baits him out by pretending he's disengaged, which allows him to get his free shot on a second hit. One very useful advice I have for you guys is the Havoc Shotgun, if you ADS it, actually does an insane amount of damage because of how tight the pellet spread is. As you can see, he's able to left-hand peek here into a 45 tag, which is actually quite a lot of damage, and then they get another 18 tag, and now he wants to go ahead and continue this fight versus this other player. This is where he makes his first mistake in fight, as he quite obviously telegraphs where he's going to go, and he swings on the guy's wall twice, and the guy opens up straight away and lands his big shot on Malabuka. However, the key thing when it comes to fighting in these finals is not letting the other player pop their slurp because of how quickly they get the HP back. Malibu gets his slurp off, immediately looks for a counter shot right here, gets it, and now he's got 150 HP advantage on the other player. 
in total and he keeps on pressuring and just keeps on trying to get into the guy's box and he does not let the other guy get a slurp off at all he's constantly just swinging onto the guy's wall aggressing him non-stop and now the other player is forced into making a mistake malibu goes into his box shotgun replaces again does this nice cone in it to mess up the guy's crosshair placement and then takes him out and very importantly here is he gets out with storm while only taking the round eight or so damage to storm in total which means that he's going to be able to win heal off later on it's really important in these games that you guys don't take storm at all one of the best tips i can give to you guys is once you've got your mats good and you've got this amount of healing from your cash as you can see here and you've got good guns is try to prioritize just getting as stacked as possible for heal off through fishing if you guys fish you can get easily eight floppers just out of regular water since the most recent few patches as you can see malibu gets a whole load of floppers just from doing this plus some sardines he could possibly come back for and play heal off later on however here he gets a max system zone pool so he decides to just carry eight floppers which is 32 whole ticks that he can tank end game before he actually goes down to storm Combine that with the slope juice, plus the fact that he's going to find some refreshes later on, means that this is pretty much a guaranteed heal off win if he doesn't die or use all his mats. In the most recent patch, Epic has gone ahead and changed all of these later zones. So this is the sixth zone, it now plays basically into a half in, half out. Seventh zone also does a very similar thing, where it's also quite likely to play into the dead side down here. And of course, now eighth zone, which used to be sort of the 80-20 zone, is now completely out. One thing I'd highly recommend for solo cash cups, especially these final games, is if you need loot to win the game, as you can see here, Malibu Crew is just not going to win heal off with this loot right here, is to go ahead and try to take a fight or try to beam somebody in the back and then catalyze on them dying as you rotate these very difficult zones. As you can see here, Malibu got baits around, he's playing line of sight on this hill, it was getting a massive amount of damage onto this guy and then chases him down and takes him out on the rotator zone right here. Takes him out, now he's set up insanely well, drops his SMG for six flash, has a katana as well which is a lot better in these end games i would say katana is really ideal compared to running odm gear because you can get a shot out very easily and then now he's able to very simply rotate into zone using double charges to get into a good spot now the most recent change to the zone is going to be this eight zone right here this zone rather than playing slightly out of zone now plays fully out of zone which means not a single player can actually pull this eight zone this is a really big change to competitive. However, you guys shouldn't overcomplicate your rotator to the zone. Instead, just simply pause on your way to zone. It's very important you have a katana at this point because it means that you can double katana, wait about 20 seconds. Try to catch a good timing like Malibuka does right here, where he's able to spot a bunch of other players katanaing in front of him. As you can see, here's people around him and behind him katanaing, and then he katanas twice. And then quite simply, you've done most of this rotate, try to sprint a little bit if possible and then pause as you come in so you avoid taking any damage. Pause around here and then you'll be able to wait for your katana to recharge and then you'd easily be able to double and get as far as possible into the rest of the zone. Do not ever rotate these zones at the moment, very last second. It means that there's going to be a whole lot of players that are set up to hold you and shoot you from front side. You need to make sure that you try to rotate these very far new zones early. One of the best strategies to go ahead and get refreshes this season and endgame is simply waiting somebody katana onto your high layer and they'll only be connected to you as you can see here. This other guy is only connected to Malabuka. He edits out his floor, lines up a max, takes him out and what does he do straight after is he goes ahead and secures the loot and makes sure his box is airtight. Whenever you get a refresh endgame, other players are going to see that refresh and they're going to try to go ahead and fight you for the loot. Maluk makes sure to make sure everything is secure, nobody can get into it from behind or from the front, and then he immediately leaves the loot and doesn't try to fight another player for the loot. He makes sure the other guy just gets what he needs. It's completely fine at this point. He's got all the mats and all of the important heals from it. And then now he's set up in an extremely strong position going into second moving to just play passively for the rest of the same game. As we get into final moving here, Malibu Kuru has one HP to Storm. So he goes ahead and pops his slurp, pops his pizza time, which is now being vaulted. And he realizes he has to fight for refreshes. You guys have to have some awareness in game whether you've got enough heals to win the game on your own or not. And majority of cases, it's going to be worth trying to go down towards low ground or trying to find a refresh on the mid ground layer to take somebody out. You've got to remember these players down low ground most of the time only have cypher mats or a little bit less as is the case right here and Malibuka is trying to take them out so he can get the whites from these players. One thing though is he doesn't get caught up on backside trying to find refreshes on these players instead he's always prioritizing staying front side and staying ahead of these other players. So you can see here even though he's completely front side he keeps on prioritizing staying at the front of zone and being able to cheaply tarp his mats and get into this old box with this cash and then from this cash he's able to actually find a refresh just before it get some mats to play for the rest of the time and then he very luckily gets a med mist right here 
from the cash. It's not necessarily luck, however, because of course, if you go into old builds and you're staying front side, you're always gonna find something, whether it's a refresh from somebody who has floppers or who has a decent amount of whites, but enough the mats to play them out, or getting into an old cash like Malibuka does here is able to win in the game. One very nice thing about tarping around the Logan is the fact that you're actually able to run back through your old builds and potentially find whites from other players that died to Storm or went down fighting on backside. That's exactly what Malibuka does. He realizes he has to run back in Storm. He's not going to win the game, just these splashes. He runs back, catches a guy popping floppers back in Storm, one pumps him and then wins the game from that. And when it comes to consistently winning games on heal off this season, guys, it's really important you do what Malibuka does right here, which is to go ahead and pop your slug juice at the last available second. You can see he pops it around one second left on the clock. That means that he's going to have the maximum amount of time to run back in Storm and try to find extra whites. You've got to remember there could be players for a whole inventory of floppers and you need to out heal them. So what does Malibuka do right here is he remembers where a campfire spawn in, as you can see. He's able to rotate over to his campfire, stoke it a couple of times, very smartly farm some extra wood right here to get even more stokes out of the campfire, as you can see. This is basically like having a third slurp juice at this point, having this campfire going. Another very useful thing that you can do is go ahead and katana back to where you know that non-boxer spawns or even where you actually get chug boxes, as you can see. This means that you might get extra chance of getting floppers or slap juices, or in this case, Malibuka actually wins the game from having a cabbage in his inventory, compared to this other player that ended up going down to Storm Sickness with still even more floppers in the inventory. Can't tell you guys how important map knowledge is this season when it comes to winning these heal ups. I'd recommend studying Fortnite GG and learning as much as possible about the map.